I hope that somehow, some way, by hook or by crook, this fight between Tyson Fury and Derek Chisora doesn't happen. Because for the longest time we were hearing from Tyson Fury and his brother Shane that Tyson was going to fight Manuel Char. It seems, based upon the reports we're getting, that that is not going to happen and it will be Chisora instead. But even Chisora is not good enough. I've spoken in the past about how, back in the 80s, 90s, etc., some of the champions, and I'm talking about in many instances, all time great fighters, would in between title defenses have non title bouts against less than stellar opposition. And these were literally stay busy fights. This was quite common. Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. did it, James Tony did it, and many others. If Tyson Fury did that here, and had a non-title bout against Char or Chisora as preparation, as just a tune-up, a stay busy before facing Alexander Usyk in an undisputed clash in early 2023, then I could give him a pass. But what we're hearing is this is actually going to be a voluntary defense of Tyson Fury's WBC World Heavyweight title. No, 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 that's not good enough. Now. Again, if the Usyk fight was locked in and it was already signed, then that would be more reasonable to me. You know, I could say, okay, fair enough. He's got the Usyk fight locked in. This is a little run out. We get it. But the Usyk fight isn't locked in. So there's no guarantee that after beating Derek Chisora, which of course is what's going to happen if this fight goes ahead, after beating Chisora, there's no guarantee he's going to fight Usyk next. So. You look at the WBC heavyweight rankings here. In the top 15, which I have to imagine is what Tyson Fury is allowed to select from, some sanctioned bodies allow you to select a voluntary a challenger from the top 10, while others extend it to the top 15. I'm going to assume that the WBC maybe allow top 15 or they allow uh, exceptions where you can pick from the top 15. Why on earth? Is Derek Chisora getting a shot ahead of Hergovic or Hunter or Martin Bacoli or Makhmadov, Sanchez, Andy Ruiz? Like Derek Chisora, seriously? And obviously we've already seen Tyson Fury start coming out of all this rubbish, trying to uh, fool the public into believing that Chisora is more dangerous than U6, saying that Chisora deserved at least a draw against Usyk, but really, he won? Well, first of all, Derek Chisora fought Usyk several years ago. He barely scraped by Kubrat Pulev in his last fight. Chisora, to my eyes, looked significantly slower against Kubrat Pulev than he did a few years ago against Usyk. And this notion that Derek Chisora won the Usyk fight, I've always found bizarre. I said at the time, Usyk won that fight clearly. Yeah, Derek Chisora came out and he was applying a lot of pressure and he was rough. But how many punches did he actually land? <laughs> you know, there was lots of swinging and hitting arms and stuff like that. But was he actually landing clean shots? There were a few body shots here and there. But for the most part, the majority of clean effective punches in that fight were landed by Usyk. And by the mid rounds, he actually stunned Chisora a couple times. So again, I don't buy this notion that it was a 50-50 and could have gone either way. No, I thought Usyk won the fight quite comfortably. It was rough in terms of Chisora being very physical. But if you're talking about scoring the rounds and the most amount of clean effective punches landed, it was Usyk all day. But again, this is Tyson Fury doing what he does, BS in the public, trying to sell them some nonsense to justify what is a very cynical move by him. In taking on Derek, if this fight goes ahead, Taking on a man who he's already beaten twice comfortably, and he beat a much better version of Derek Chisora twice than the one we have today. Why would you want to see a third? Like, nobody wants to see a third fight. Only the most delusional, fanatical Tyson Fury supporters will, or just unbelievable casuals, will be interested in this fight or interested in this matchup. This is a farce. That's what it is. If you are the best heavyweight in the world, as you profess to be, and an all-time great, Tyson Fury has even come out and said he's the greatest heavyweight ever, 
then there is no excuse when there are lots of better fighters in the top 15 of the WBC. There's no excuse for fighting Chisora. It's not acceptable. Yeah, Hergovic is there. Hunter's there. He's looking for an opponent now after Huey Fury pulled out for a second time. Bacoli's there. I'm sure he'd fight Tyson Fury in a heartbeat. Makhmadov is there. Sanchez is there. Andy Ruiz is there. You can't try and par us off with Derek Chisora. Give it a rest. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below about this uh, debacle. Again, I hope it don't happen. I hope that somehow, some way, you know, I would rather Tyson Fury not fight at all and just go straight into the Usyk fight rather than have the Chisora fight and then go into, into the If you're going to have meaningless fights, then I don't want to see him. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'd rather not see you fight at all if it's going to be a meaningless fight. Unless, as I say, it's a non-title bout. If it's a non-title bout, okay. I give you a pass. Or if the Usyk fight was already locked in, I give you a pass. But if neither of those are the case, then nah. Forget about this fight. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you're tired of the biased narratives and mass censorship on mainstream platforms, and you want to be part of a community of critical thinkers who love free speech just as much as you do, then come and join me on Patreon and access my weekly no holds barred censorship-free podcast where we lift the lid on a wide variety of controversial topics. It's not mainstream friendly. It's not politically correct. But that's the whole point. We dare to stand as a beacon of reason against an army of insanity. Just head on over to my Patreon page and select the tier called Hatman Hot Topics. You'll gain access to a minimum of two hours of exclusive content every single week, including podcasts, videos, interviews, live stream Q&As, as well as my popular Confessions of a Nightclub Bouncer series. Not to mention a vast back catalog of hundreds of hours of previous episodes. You can listen via the Patreon app with the option to download in high quality MP3. We've also got an element group where you can come and chat and hang out with myself and other members. Unlike Discord, it has full end-to-end -end encryption, it's decentralized, and it's 100% censorship-free. You can also send voice notes, as well as much larger audio and video files than you can on Discord. So come and sign up on Patreon. There's no contract, there's no commitment, you can cancel at any time, and it's cheaper than a cup of coffee. So I'll see you over there. I'm out.